Okay, it's Ellen, it's over to you now. Thank you, Eugene. Okay, you can see those slides? Yes, I can excellent. see that. Thank you. Uh, an absolutely excellent day today, uh, Eugene. Uh, you've made my job even easier this afternoon uh, to, to close this workshop. Uh, you know, even less slides than I needed at the last one to, to close the, the workshop when we did the, the printed electronics with Robert Kay a few months ago. Uh, so it's just left to me to, to close the workshop. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to provide some acknowledgements, and I think it, it's, it's not an insignificant task putting together one of these, uh, one of these workshops. Uh, and, and Eugene and Patrick and Nancy and I and, and others have met many, many times over the last few months to, uh, to pull things together. Uh, so, so just to, to acknowledge uh, all of those speakers uh, that we've had today, not just for their contribution today, but also in, in the, the run up to this as well. So you know, some of those mistakes that we've seen in terms of, of technology uh, not working with us, we have tested these things. The, the speakers have been involved with us. Uh, but but the gremlins have obviously attacked us on the day. But a, a huge thank you to the uh, to all of our speakers uh, this afternoon for their contribution, uh, for giving up their time. The event itself wouldn't be uh, an event unless we had uh, attendees, uh, and, it, and it's great that we had so many registered for the event. But also uh, the contribution that you've made as well to the session, not just in the uh, uh, in being here, but also to uh, to completion of the Padlet session and to to ask questions of the presenters and. When you reflect back on the the chat for this particular workshop, there's lots of really rich dialogue in there. Lots of people asking questions, feeding back to each other, offering their email addresses, and that's what we're what's what we're after. We're looking to build that, that community. Again, a, a big thank you to uh, to Eugene's uh, helpers at, at Brunel, the PhD students and the PDRAs, and and there's a list of names there. So again, a, a great big thanks to them for their their input and the support along the way. It's an excellent development opportunity for them as well in terms of these types of activities. So so thank you for your involvement. Uh, and then obviously our, our very first poster competition. Uh, and, and this was actually an idea that was born out of uh, the, the original development workshops back in November, December last year. And, and Martins and Dean had come to us to say, what can we do for PhD students? And, that, and that's where it's come from. So it was, it was fitting that, that, that the, uh, the poster competition itself uh, aligned with the education event. So we are recognizing the work of, of our undergraduates and our postgraduates that are involved in design for additive manufacturing uh, and, and the work that they are doing and the projects and research that they're undertaking. So a big thank you to those, those student contributors as well. There is no competition without the entries. So congratulations to the winners. I had no hand in it whatsoever being a Lancaster student uh, and deliberately kept out of, of everything. So uh, congratulations to, to the winners there. Uh, for me as well, being involved in, in this network have you just shared your screen, Eugene? Uh, being involved in the in the network is uh, uh, is, is 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 you know it's it's opening my eyes to a lot of what's going on, not just uh, nationally in the UK, uh, but internationally as well with the the contributors we, we're getting and the, the network members, and be able to, to to go on that journey with two really excellent and supportive colleagues, Nancy and Patrick. We, we meet weekly at least once, uh, sometimes it's, it's twice a week as well, and there's a, a, an excellent relationship there. Uh, and it means that the network itself is, has a lot of support. Uh, we get on, along really well uh, and to be able to, to pull these things together and to be able to talk to the right people to help us along with that as well. Uh, so he, he hasn't thanked himself and, and you know, it, it's my job to do that. I think Eugene for the tremendous effort that you, you've made uh, in, in initiating this workshop uh, when, we, when we approached you uh, earlier in the year uh, and for leading the organisation of that and for chairing the proceedings today. It's, it's absolutely fantastic what you've managed to, to pull off. Uh, you can see that again from the comments that are coming in the chat and, and the appreciation that you've got for leading such an event. And then finally, uh, EPSRC for the funding for the network. Uh, and it's not just the network itself. Uh, there is now a network of networks as well, and, and, and we've been invited into that, and there'll be lots more development that we can try and capitalise on through that, that network of networks uh, over the course of the next few years as well. So ongoing participation, and, and, and how can we uh, how can we capitalise on on what is is uh, what's happening? I mentioned the word community before, and really that that community is building now, and it's not just in the UK. We've got a number of members, a number of people who are coming along. From around the world, we we had questions from Botswana today. I know there, there, are, there are delegates in here from uh, from across Europe, uh, from from North Africa as well, with uh, 
uh, Morocco being represented, etc. And that community is, is, is getting much larger uh, every week as, as the network uh, uh, progresses. And that wouldn't have been possible, I don't think, without COVID, because we are online and it's given us that opportunity to be able to reach out uh, to, to a much wider audience uh, and to bring those people in for the benefit of the network overall. So for that ongoing participation, watch out for uh, and participate in, in the future events. You, you've heard Ajit talk about uh, his event that's going to be coming up uh, towards the end of the year. Jonathan Rowley's also looking to, to run one around September, October time around printed textiles. Uh, and we're hoping that that will be an in-person event. Uh, all indications from, from government are that we can start to get back together uh, in person events. And, and Jonathan's really keen that we do that for his event. Uh, if you're interested in leading uh, a key research team, uh, and there are still some uh, opportunities there for uh, theme leaders to be identified, the development workshops did uh, identify what, sh what those themes were. So if you're interested, drop Patrick and myself a, a note and we can have a chat and see where that takes us. Uh, to, to, to look at the longevity and, and leaving a, a good legacy with the network after the EPSRC funding runs out, we are trying to develop that, that network and, and have a lot of information and, and resources that will be available. So there are some surveys in development just now. They will be circulated pretty soon uh, and it'd be great if you could take the time to fill those out. Without the ideas and the drive, uh, Patrick and Nancy and I uh, won't necessarily have the, uh, uh, the information that will help us push that forward. Uh, and then finally, how can the DFEM network help support you or any activities or, or activities that you're involved in? And we have we have already had uh, requests for support from uh, some European projects, for example, that are running uh, next year. There, there, there's some stuff happening in Malta uh, with uh, Andrew Woodhouse from, from Strathclyde, and he's asked for some help and support there. So if there's something you would like us to help with and, and put the EPSRC uh, and the DFEM network behind it, then by all means, get in touch and we'll see what we can do. Other than that, uh, I just thank you all for attending. Uh, it's been a, a great day. Uh, we are over time. Uh, by about, I think that's about 40 minutes or so, uh, but I hope it was worth it for that extra time uh, and, and being able to, uh, to stay for the extra presentations and, and uh, uh, all the activity that's been happening. So thank you very much. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at the next event.